Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to build these small fantasy style mushroom houses. These are so much fun to make. I'm actually building this in my single player world for my supporters and everybody's been liking them. So let's go ahead. Let's build this thing right now. Block for block. Let's go. All right, and here we go with the block palette. So we're gonna be bringing in some mushroom stem blocks, some dark oak planks, the stairs, the fences, some spruce trap doors, some nether warp block, crimson nylium, any glass of your choice, and then also some bricks, some brick stairs, and some campfire blocks. And here we go with the dimensions. It is super easy. All you're gonna be needing is a five by five box frame to get this foundation started. Also, we're gonna be using the mushroom stem block. For this block, you're gonna need some silk touch. So if you don't have that available, I'm gonna give you later on a couple options that you can use instead. Also, if you didn't head off to the nether and you didn't get any nether warp block or any of this crimson nylium yet, I'm gonna also give you other options that you can use this style, this build specifically can be used with so many different block combinations but i'll show you that after but for right now let's get it started so let's start right here on this corner of this five by five with a dark oak plank we're going to be using our mushroom stem right here and go up one two three and four here i'm going to give it a space of one and two i'm going to put an upside down stair of dark oak here mushroom stem on top and then one two three and four right here on the side underneath here we can use the mushroom stem or we can use dark oak let's just go with the mushroom stem right there dark oak plank here on the side and then again going up one two three and four here i'm going to go up one and two let's put just a placeholder block for right now and put a mushroom stem on top take that out and then go another one two three and four leaving this just perfectly surrounded with the mushroom stem if i were to have put mushroom stem here and then take it out it gives you this weird look unless you really want it uh, you can do that that's fine but the way around it would be to do how i did it with the placeholder blocks so just go ahead and go back up put a little placeholder and then mushroom stem on top and then get rid of it and you don't have that weird uh, texture in there. Now over here, I'm gonna go with another plank, up one, two, three, and four, one, two, put a placeholder block, mushroom stem, go back down, up by four again. Oh, see, made a mistake, there we go, <laughs> covered up. Then here, I'm gonna go ahead and put another plank and then we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four here, up by four here. And then on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use our brick to make a nice chimney, a little fireplace. So for right now, let's leave this inside part open, but right on the outside part, I'm just gonna go up one, two, three, and four for right now. Out here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a full block and then a stair here on the side. And let's just leave that there for now. Now in front of all of these planks, we're gonna go up by two with our fences of dark oak and a plank on top. And let's do this all the way around. Now, once we have that all the way around, let's grab some of our dark oak stairs. I'm gonna put stairs in the front of every mushroom stem right here on these two parts. We're gonna do it right here on this side. And in the middle, I'm gonna grab a slab of dark oak and we're gonna put that in the center of it. Then go around right here, another couple stairs, a slab in the center. And then right here, we're gonna go with another couple stairs on the side. Now next up, let's grab some dark oak slabs. I'm gonna give a lining right here in the front, one, two, and three. Let's come back this way, another three here, another three on this side, and then one and one next to that brick. Then next up, let's grab our nether warp block and we're gonna go up right on top of these and just go eh, put one on top of every single one of these blocks we just placed. Going all the way around, we'll, uh, skip this one because we're gonna be putting our brick going back up for the chimney to just go straight up into the air. And we have this look from the top. Now next up, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a trim. I'm gonna be putting a spruce trap door on the top part of every one of these blocks right here, going all the way around like so. And then make sure it's always on the top part. So technically you could put a block on top of it. And this sl uh, swings all the way around, even over this brick and then going back down this way. Now, next up, I'm gonna be putting stairs in the center bit. So one here, one in this middle, one in this middle, and then one in this middle. Then I'm gonna be putting slabs next to those stairs. So going all the way around, just like so, slabs all the way. Then next up, let's grab stairs and face them inwards towards this netherward block going all the way around, giving you this nice trim on this roof right here. So it should look like this from the top. Then next up, let's start lifting up uh, these netherwork blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one, two, three here. Let's put one on this side, one, two, three, one, and just lift everything up at least by one and continue with the brick going up right there. Just follow that same path. Then next up, let's go ahead and put a block in front of these three right around the corner. And for this one, I'm gonna be putting a stair facing downwards like so. Then next up, let's give a trim around this. So let's go ahead and lift this up, put a placeholder block. We're gonna put one up top, placeholder, one up top, and you can get rid of those two. So placeholders here, two on top, get rid of those. Placeholders on top, get rid of those, and then two more right here. Then next up, let's go ahead and put more placeholder blocks. So one on the bottom, and then one up top, 
bottom and on top and just go ahead and swing this all the way around just like so and then we're just gonna close off this top layer right over here. And that is it, that is our mushroom right here on the top. Now, next thing we're gonna do is let's actually pop this one out. We're gonna take this brick up another one and two. On top here, I'm gonna get a campfire block and I'm gonna surround this in our spruce trap doors. And it should look just like that. Now for texturing, we're gonna go ahead and come in here and give some of these awesome mushroom stem blocks. The same that we have down here. I'm gonna pepper these up top. It could be anywhere. You don't have to put exactly where I'm putting it. Uh, but you can just go around and just add this little bit of detail just to make it look like uh, one of these mushrooms, just bigger. <laughs> so it's going to look pretty cool. Something like that. Looks awesome. Maybe one more up here. There you go. That looks nice. And then you can also come back in here and add some of this nylon. Uh, and it looks cool because right now what we could do is if we just pepper this around, just random spots, just like so. I like to keep these towards the top. Uh, I wouldn't want to really hide it underneath here because it really you could, but it's not going to make a difference. And then we're going to go ahead and add some of these crimson roots to them because it won't grow on any one of these other blocks, but it will grow on that. And it just adds a little bit more detail to the mushroom house. And then if you like, you can add really any other red blocks. You can add red terracotta. You can even add red uh, sandstone, which also looks pretty cool. Uh, we can even add glazed red terracotta. You can add pretty much any of the other red blocks if you wanted to play around, even red concrete will look good. If you just wanted to mix and match it to give it a nice texture, you can go ahead and do that, it's okay. But for right now, let's just keep it a little bit more plain and just leave the nylium around here like this. Now to finish this off, I'm just gonna use some red glass for this. You can use really any color glass is fine. I'm gonna put a little shutter trap door on the side right there. And if you want, you can even add extra details. You can add a flower box here to the bottom. You can add really anything over here. You can even grab uh, some of this bush right here and even hang it over here, like almost like a little hanging flower box right there. You can do so many things to this, but I'm just gonna leave it plain just like this all the way around. Next up, let's grab a door. I'm gonna go with a simple old spruce door right here then we have all this space to work with and you can use this for anything and add as much detail as you want uh starting out let's just uh add a light really fast let's put one right here for now for the flooring i'm gonna go really super simple just with some spruce now next up over here i kind of want to seal this off so i'm gonna put a placeholder block let's put one more of those uh lovely mushroom blocks and we have that all sealed up if you uh, really can't break through here but you know what let's go ahead and just put up uh, some details let's put a furnace on one side i'm gonna grab a stair right here let's put an upside down stair right at this level right there and then let's go ahead and add a couple details over here like a small little kitchen for this one i'm going to add a cauldron on one side let's put, put that light back uh then i'm going to go ahead and grab a couple barrels let's put some barrels right here one on the top let's get rid of that let's put barrels lined up all the way down like so gives you a little bit more detail let's grab a crafting bench Oops. let's put the crafting bench right here on this side then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more stuff. Let's actually put a light. Let's put it right here on this corner. Uh, we could get rid of the bottom part if you want to make it a little bit cooler, like a kitchen. You know, so this whole bottom part could be bricks if you want. Grab a cake. Let's drop a cake in the back. I love adding cakes to kitchen. So let's put that here in the corner. Add some water to the cauldron just to make it look a little bit better. Let's actually use this as a second floor. So for to make it look a little easier and make it uh, a little bit better from the bottom, let's just put slabs rolling down this way. Actually, Actually, slabs going down uh, the middle would be probably better so slabs going down like this and then we're gonna use some of our trap doors of spruce and come back down this direction and another one coming back down this direction like this now we have all this space to work with you could get rid of these since these were just placeholder blocks on the corner bits you can even get a ladder and drop the ladder here on the side so you can have access to the second floor right over here for this bottom part just to dress it up a little bit let's put a composter and we're gonna grab a bush and let's put a bush on top of that so it can make it look a little bit cooler there we go we can even grab some paintings and let's drop a painting on this side right there for this little corner bit we can have like a little shelf so how about we grab a stair let's bring the dark oak back we can go ahead and put a little upside down right uh, stair right there add a flower pot and really any flower is fine or how about just a little red mushroom from the nether right there so we have this nice little quaint little spot this is perfectly fine and then we can just take it upstairs now for upstairs to maximize this area to make it look cool also let's do this let's put some slabs of our dark oak every other one here 
and then trap doors in these gaps. And then right in the center, we can drop a lantern. Let's put a soul fire one. Look how cool. Then over here, let's go ahead and put a bed. We can put it on any side. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here on this corner. Also going to put a little barrel here on this side right there. And then maybe another little flower pot right there. Perfect. And then let's add a painting right there on that side. No, not a creeper. I'm sleeping. Then all around here, we can add uh, barrels and chests. So maybe just barrels, just so we can maximize all of this spot right here. And then on this side, we can add maybe a little bit of a writing desk right here. So let's grab some stairs. Let's go ahead and go back to our dark oak. Let's go ahead and put a stair this way, stair this way. Let's get a lectern. Let's drop that in the center. There we go. Let's put maybe another flower pot over here. We can even get some of our awesome sea pickles. Looks like little scented candles on the side. Drop those there in the corner and pretty much put anything. Let's just put a plant right there on that side. Grab a book. Uh, let's put it right there in the middle. And then where's our way up? Let's make sure we don't interfere. Perfect. So this side is completely good. That is our way up right there. So then over here, we can grab a, let's go with a slab to make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go with a jungle slab. You can go with pretty much any of them. I'm gonna put a jungle slab right here in this corner. And let's grab a, uh, let's grab a sign. Let's go with a dark oak sign. I'm gonna put this right there in the corner. So we have a nice little seat right there in that back end. We can even add another painting over here. If it's too dim for you, because I know this is uh, kind of really dim <laughs> right there, you can even grab uh, the other uh, lantern, the regular one, and that should light up a little bit more. We can even grab a little carpet and drop that. Let's put just a black carpet. Let's just go right here on these two because we need that to go up and down. And we're done. And there you go. We are completely done with our little starter mushroom house here. This tiny mushroom house is so awesome. But guess what? You can make this look so many different ways using the same build style. So what if I do this? Let's do a little bit of terraforming, add some more paths, some details here. And then also let me build a couple more of these in different color palettes so you can see how else this could look like with this same style. And there it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse of me building up these other two extra mushroom houses. And this is just the beginning. You can use so many different color combinations. Over here on the right side, I used a little bit of oak, a little bit of spruce, and some of the warp blocks. On this other side, completely just vanilla blocks. We have some sandstone on the bottom, some jungle trims with some acacia top with some white wool and now this is just this is just the start you can do so many different combinations so send me pictures either on twitter discord instagram wherever you guys want of you building these houses in different colors different palettes maybe a whole big village let me know if you guys want to see a big giant village of this maybe we could do a transformation of a specific minecraft village let me know though what biome should i do that in but this would be so so awesome to do this again in a larger scale but let me know if you guys also want to see something uh like that on the channel but for right now i am out of here thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed i'll catch you guys on the next minecraft video goodbye